made of wood there. Oh wow, that your eyes sounds really loud. Um, this is the first game by these devs. It's about a week old, being made in Old oh, Machine 15, which is just under a week. That sound is fucking loud. This is an interesting um, menu screen though. Oh, I like that, it actually portrays the sound before. Alright, they're gonna have Japanese voice. Languages are just basic fucking. yeah. etc. So that would be the game, kinda. Text speed. Alright, killing spree, invert camera. Yeah, that's all real basic. I say that's a bit below pro. I mean, something that would be nice to have here generally is one like subtitles option, which a game like this probably would have but always enabled. And two, like turning off light, for instance, you know, some, some like that that generally tells me, you know, they thought about the options a bit more than not at all. If this game has blur and it doesn't have blur, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I have to do it each screen. God damn it. I think I'll go easy just for this uh, game N. Wouldn't that just be players? Alright, I hope this doesn't actually have nudity. I, I mean, I'm not streaming, so I can just cut it out, but, you know. We'll see, we'll see what goes on. I mean, you can see kind of nips on these characters vaguely. Oh shit, I do have castle in it. Uh, disabled. So when I'm moving around the castle, it's moving where the hands are in the image. As I go up, the hands go up closer, and yeah. Alright, well, this is Seed of the Dead, as you can easily, um, uh, okay, there we go. I had to click it twice, that was a bit weird. Wait, what's going on here? Is it, okay. Hey, hey, you, can you hear? Okay, I can click anyway, I don't have to click next. What, what's the option? Oh. It's just got a constant options here. I hear an unfamiliar girl's voice next to me. I play as a girl zone and left the dead through style, because this is FPS. The girls seem to be shaking me, even without looking, I can feel my brain wobbling. I always hate visual novels, so I'm obviously gonna sit in this stuff, but I did see it coming, so I'm not gonna be too gratuitous so on it. Um, maybe just how lengthy it is and shit. I mean, if there's anything really that bad. Otherwise, I'll just skip over this. Hey, wake up, come on, woman, wake up. You can't just die here. You're sure he's alive? He. Here we go, here's the weird stuff. I don't play as me, I'm, I play as one of them, I'm pretty sure. That's what they showed in the store page, you know. I'd be surprised to find Left 4 Dead style. This didn't have any play online sort of options there. We'd be better off leaving him here. Instead of looking at some guy that might be dead already, we should get where we we're going. There we go, here's the images. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm fucking looking at a fucking stages of life kind of thing, where it's like young to the right, teenager in the middle, <laughs> and I've got like all the three different size. <laughs> Just got a, one of them has a grenade on their belt, and that chick on the far right, the little kid, doesn't look like they got anything ready for, for combat. The others at least have straps where they could fit guns and stuff. And they have the gloves which look like they're ready to take on some shit. I gathered my bearings and opened my eyes. Three females stood in front of me. Three, yeah, so it's three females and a guy. Yeah. Yeah. So you play as a guy so you can check him out. Right. That makes sense. But yeah, the that Resident Evil, like the gloves, uh, the um elbow patch thing and the fucking straps just make me think of Resident Evil like that. One of them wore gloss and had a head. Yeah, I can, I can see that. You don't have to describe that. Oh, where am I? <laughs> just good. <laughs> I was right. It's still alive. Don't look too well, but I'm I just kind of shake the image lazily just so you know who's talking. That's, that's fucking great. After I stood up, the girl's wearing a hairpin. Uh, gave me a smile and a satisfied nod. I'm already fucking sick of reading this. As if things were up to say, oh shit, she just pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun's flipping. You can tell this is a JPEG. That's the that's the edge of the fucking... Uh, boy. I wonder if 
like they had crossover point that they just couldn't overlay their images but they were just like there's the the line between the shotgun and the girl's elbow i just <laughs> as if to interrupt the lady wait before you we make i want to make sure i'm sure quotation marks there's already one big problem in the text i don't know if i'll decide to skip over the other shit but here's has a big problem because they've been talking like this for describing stuff and now he's directly saying this to them uh, there's no quotation marks like if you're planning to do that where it just has him describe something or talk about something then you do that without um quotation marks and then when when people are saying stuff you have quotation marks so so people know what you are and aren't saying to jump from that height you must be pretty tough I mean, for the girl's sake, it makes sense, because they're, they're having voice lines come out. They'll probably just take away the fucking name tag point, eh? If it was me, I might have broken one, two, maybe three arms. Well, she's a fucking moron. I wouldn't leave her with a fucking grenade. Yeah, they, they just take away the name tag. That's not enough. That will leave people who's confused. I smiled at <laughs> That looks so bad, because it's a minigun, and it's just cut in half. I mean, the girl to the left there. Looks perfectly fine how she's holding it up there, but the others is I mean, the one to the right now looks fine because it's on the right of the screen. So they worked in the confines of their own flaws. The one in the middle is just the most glaring fucking thing ever. Like, holy shit, that looks bad. But alright, let's see what the game's plays actually like when I'm gonna mainly judge my review off of. Alright, yeah, we're just doing one of these. I would blame it. Well, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna blame them all for doing it like this, the tutorial thing. Where it's gone, you get through, kind of like um, Yakuza does. Which, to be fair, I love Yakuza, so I'm not gonna outright uh, negative it for this alone. Work together with the heroines. Well, that's pretty good that they actually said that, and not the heroes. Even though. Right. To kill zombies, defeat a certain number of enemies, and the next wave will appear. Compete. Complete five waves to pass a level. Right. That's pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Right. So when my characters start, <laughs> some. Oh wow, that's a pretty bad way to lock off the thing. But yeah, when my characters die, I uh, sex scenes happen. This does seem kind of like, like it's even got the fucking same HUD as. All right, I'm gonna have to turn down the um. All right. All right, so you got a melee weapon and a handgun, which is a bit different. All right, yeah. So this is already a bit different than. Um, left dead because that'd usually be a whack away button. Reload still are of course. No flashlight. Um, oh yeah, it tells. Okay, so the HUD's actually pretty good in this because it tells me the button presses with stuff like grenades and it shows me my grenade counter. <laughs> that mini gunner. The models actually look pretty good on these characters, to be honest. I mean, then again, it is coming in at Unreal, so of course it looked pretty good. The zombies look pretty good themselves, too. I'm surprised you can actually destroy their heads. Like, this honestly looks like a pretty solid game. Get away from me, monster. Yeah, so if my characters die, sex scenes happen, which I'm gonna have to censor it out because YouTube, you guys know, like, I can't have just a full on sex scene, and I don't have the ability to really censor it out. <laughs> it fucking blindsided me before because that was a tutorial page and it's... Wait, can she just... Is, is there a whack away button? F. <laughs> okay, it just automatically has people's clothes disappear off when I press that button prompt. <laughs> and you just, you just bang them to bring back the hell. <laughs> I, I find this game kind of charming and like a really bizarre one. because the zombies and shit is like super brutal yet yeah, like whacking them away is kind of goofy 
and then that's just like every the theme of this isn't consistent although everything separately is um oh Okay, so everything in this game seems to be... Wait, does this gun have infinite ammo? Yeah, it does. Right, so the handgun has infinite ammo. So yeah, everything seems good on its own, but individually nothing's really... Um, but, I mean, I mean, on it, like, all together, nothing really connects properly to me. Like, like, the theme seems all serious. Like, look at this environment, right? Those serious the zombies don't seem to like the zombie models don't feel like they're in the same universe as these characters. So um, it just seems inconsistent. It, like the art style of the oh fuck me. There's no um. I mean sometimes they use it as okay. So P is another button for actually just let me check the key bindings. Oh, okay, it does it all, oh, yeah. Oh, well, it has, yeah. Wazard, uh, fire, aim, jump. Oh, okay, there's actually a sprint. Um, <laughs> Map change. What the fuck does that mean? Alright, so there's no melee button. You would have to get a fucking... Oh, well. Okay, so that's like a, a zoom out of the radar then. Okay. Well, I guess that's nice. I mean, it's, it's obviously just a radar because it's only showing my people in the enemies. It does have a nice bullet effects, like bullet line and shit. Um, it's kind of hard to depict how good and bad the models are. Hers, though, seems quite bad, because anytime she moves, the fucking minigun goes underneath her, like, goes through the universe. So whenever she moves really bad. What? Are they gonna shoot her? Okay, yeah, the UI's pretty bad. They seem capable of following, but they don't seem to ever shoot. Um... I'm on the lowest setting, but that doesn't look too good. I thought that was Z fighting for a bit, but it's like any time I move the mouse, that goes to shit too. So, they, okay, they do actually attack every once in a while. It seems inconsistent how often they do, but they do. That's the main thing. This feels great, I'm sure it does. Thank God I'm not fucking streaming though. Okay, let's check out. Yeah, so zoom when you go down the gun. I never really liked that, but I'm not gonna blame or compliment him for it. I just thought I'd point it out. <laughs> like I got fucking depots. The ragdoll doesn't seem all that good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are they supposed to be separating limbs? Is that maybe a part of what's. Can I separate them? No, I can just shoot the corpse around before they disappear a bit. That's actually kind of nice that you can see your teammates through walls. That way is... Well, you could do that in Left 4 Dead, couldn't you? That does seem stylistic and somewhat fitting that power, though. Though I feel like this should be a little more cartoony, a little less realistic. Just for the um, anime style they're going for. Actually, let me test out the melee weapon a bit more. Right, the... Yeah, so aiming with it does it an attack. They've at least got the basic mechanics of Left the Dead on it. Okay, that was a pretty awkward death animation, but... Uh, yeah, sprinting is fine. If it was responsive. So this game, it's 
fine in terms of gameplay. I mean, it is is left for dead. So it, you know, it's it's left for dead. <laughs> Um, it would be nice if I had the whack away instead of the aim down side. The aim down side kind of feels pointless, apart from the fact that you've got a. I mean, some other games have a there with a different button to whack away, which is like, yeah, okay, that's that's fine. But because it replaces it outright, it's like no. If this had a torch as well, then it'd be a lot better. But it takes away a lot of exploration. Of oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, the world kind of needs to be sinned a bit for stuff like that. Um, oh, can I walk through that? Yes, I can. What if I walk this way? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. There's no indicate. I'm on wave two here, but I don't recall hearing a wave two. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, oh. At least it's not a steel JPEG, like you kind of forget what they call those kind. They probably are like a JPEG. It's awkward that they T pose for a split second. Well, that's pretty nice. It tells you what button to use to reload, and it did automatically reload, so it does have all the, uh, the... What the hell is going on with my bullets? One just hit the floor. One went well out of crosshairs. I'm just so curious to see where all these bullets will fly now. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see if I... Oh, man. Is there any crouch? No, there isn't. Yeah, so that's some... Okay, so it takes a really long time for the process to shrink. And they can go well out of the... What's the point of having crosshairs if they go well out of the fucking crosshairs? It's so awkward how every headshot just makes them fucking depots for a second. The headshot thing is pretty nice, so I think other fucking... Oh wow, and they do lose body parts. Well, um, that's also another, another mechanic that's pretty nice, I guess. Is the sheep? Oh, okay, it's just a flower. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is that purple thing? Is it like infected or something? Mushy, mushy, mean. Oh, okay. I wonder if this is actual game from a different side. Like some official actual side and people are actually paying like big clues. They're like, oh yeah, that's super good. Why does she have the melee weapon? I haven't seen anyone else. These guys all look the same too, which is another bad thing, because we'd left with dead because they had clothes and all civilians. They they had like a, a bunch of different um things to make them all look kind of different even though they there are only like five or six different things and they just swap around individual pieces of RNG still made made them look kind of unique enough that you wouldn't notice it constantly oh right, yeah so you can yeah you do get a thing for each wave a little hawk <laughs> <laughs> That is a bit awkward, but I guess in one, like, thing, like, because it is clearly trying to both go serious and, um, light-hearted, is, like, that does point out, like, very video game that it is the out of bound part of this. The flag's just the same thing as the ad, oh, uh, man. It should be, like, a UK flag. Like, this looks like a UK street vlog. It's not really a good fighting a zone either. Like this one hallway has a couple sections where the cars are situated well. 50 AE. Ooh. Oh, the, that's a separate gun for some reason. Oh shit, they've actually got music. Okay, and it actually tells you what it is. They got that from Killing Floor because that's not in. That's really nice. The only problem is I'm going to have to worry about copyright claims. 
Switch is different than the game. I want. I don't know if it's free uh, music either, or whether they actually got someone to DJ or whatever. I'm considering they're willing to put up a name. Okay, so they have different, two different variations. One slightly darker. I honestly don't care if the woman dies. I'm kind of curious to see how bad it gets if I just let them die. Because they die and then they go into the state where you got to revive them. But instead it's like a little great thing instead of them just bleeding out or something. I'm really liking this handgun though. And it kind of feels like the other handgun. The animation on it is not that. Oh, oh boy. Alright, this one's gonna be a real hard video. To, um. To just. Oh man, this is gonna take so much. This gun feels. a lot more awkward than the normal pistol or the assault rifle to use, actually. They have their own different colors. That's actually really good, but why isn't she moving? I wonder, can I harm her? This friendly fire a thing. No, it is not. This is like the weirdest fucking game ever. <laughs> She's still fucking standing there. Like, the AI is so shit in this fucking game. What the fuck? So yeah, the, the AI and the world. The AI, the world, and the inconsistency of the models is like the three big flaws to me. As well as the colors of the flashlight button, but that's not really, that's more of a minor complaint. In your house or two to be able to go into an old boy. Alright, let's test out the grenades. Okay, I can't hold it. Oh wow, it explodes instantly. There's no sound for the grenade either. Like, I, I haven't played with the audio to cut it out, but it just. Okay. Oh, the little icons in the bottom screen actually shake when they get hurt. That's. That's a nice little detail. Unnecessary, but nice. It certainly does separate it from other things. Other things of this skill. Oh, that's the fucking love thing. Oh boy, they feel on that mechanic a lot, is certainly the effects of this sort of game. But I was not expecting it to be. Oh. So. So much stronger on his deck stuff when he needs to play in combat. I'll play another level after this one just to see how the um, environments and shit are. I don't want to look there yet, I'm still talking. And, you know, um, just, just kind of see how much better the other locations are before I move on and, set, and just give it a bad review or whatever. Right. I don't know if I'll refund this one. <laughs> the enemies aren't even moving to her either now. Oh wait, they died from it? They were kind of just slumping over. <laughs> I just realized in this circle there's not the um, front side, there's just a circle. What the fuck? Why is there no fucking front side? What the hell? I'm amazed that this has actually just all the majority of the reviews are positive. When it makes sense for what people are going for, it is surprisingly a lot better than shit that I go through, but I feel like these sort of games are always just... Uh, huh. Oh shit. Okay. That, okay, I think I might actually like this gun. Let's check it. Check that shit, dog. It's a shame you can't just go into that store. For it. Oh, um. Why is there a street inside this building? <laughs> well, I meant to look in there, clearly. 
that one teammate that's fucking like invincible because no one can get to him. It's just ammo piles. There's not any guns or anything or anywhere that I can buy them. I prefer Left 4 Dead where it was just drunk, dropped everywhere. Or at least even killing floors where you save up money and spend it at the end of levels. This one is way worse than both of them with them. Oh my god, they respawn in T-Poses and every time they die, it just T-Poses. Boy, I've got a lot of things to point out here. Oh wow, that animation looks a bit weak too. Shit, my clothing, I'll get you. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of the most annoying things to fucking edit ever. See, that's one of the problems with being a pervier on YouTube. <laughs> This is just way harder to fucking do videos because I'm gonna have to worry about editing stuff so hard for. Oh, she's lost even more clothing. Okay. They're not very good at keeping up with me. I don't think they bother trying to follow me if they're. Wait, are they moving? Yeah, they're moving somewhere. <laughs> She super does just get it back at close, it's fucking great. I love it. I didn't think banging someone would bring back their fucking clothes. So clothes is stunned by health, it's, and it's not something that even though you can revive them that they like their clothes just fucking magically come back. Uh, oh my god. Alright, I can check that grenade shit again. Where I instantly blow up, no sound. Wait, I think that had a sound to it. Yeah, it kind of does. It's just a really weird. Wait, no, that's the sound of the heads exploding. Let me do it here where there's nothing. <laughs> that's the sound they used? Oh boy. The sound of me reloading is fucking louder than that. Are you the mission? Yes, get the story. So it's interesting that it lets me into this part of the park. Oh wait, no it doesn't, it's got an invisible wall here. But it confuses the fucking enemies. Oh boy. Yeah, that's the shit that I like seeing. What is this? Is this a shotgun? New gun? Mossberg. Moscan. Moscow. Moscavenger. Okay, that's not direct on. That would have everything on shoot and go off slightly to the right. Hey, what else? Oh wow, the hand animation for it too has really not been thought out. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. And the right hand's fine, it's the fucking left hand that's fucking... Oh boy. Well, you know, this shotgun feels pretty nice to use. One good thing about this is it doesn't have, um, what is it, hit markers, so I'll give it that, in the very least. Boy, something about this is just actually pretty fun. Yeah, considering I'm getting some level of fun out of this, I won't very fun.
Are you stuck in me there, sir? Oh no. Holy shit, that was loud. Right. Okay, second level now. And it's the same map. Cut off smaller. Okay. Looks like it's a different game mode, and I keep my guns. Which makes sense for the daughter game. Right? But. Even though it's a defense, what am I... Do I just survive for that time? Is that what it's going on? So it's interesting that there's two different game modes to this, at least. Alright, this AI is clearly busted again. The AI is just so shit. It just keeps breaking on me. Just staring at the fucking... Oh wow, they have a. She's got way more health. She's got fucking 300. Oh, okay, that's fine. Defending, I'm defending her. Oh, she's hacking into the thing. Okay. I completely skipped the thing, so I didn't know what was going on. That's why she's got way more health. Alright, yeah. I'm following, I'm following. And ammo car is just randomly. I'm liking this mode a lot more than the others. I feel like it's, it just comes out way more balanced and proper. Even though the map's condensed and shit. And you don't get your full player roster. It just feels more constructed than um, the other game mode. to go. What does that mean? This feels more like the daddy now, the way they've got this level going. What the fuck? See, this is what I was talking about when I was talking like, it's inconsistent. Sometimes it wants to be like half, and sometimes it wants to be like, full on. Like, what the fuck, bro? 
Alright. Sex level is counted stages. Holy shit. Okay, but it does have save progress. That's all. Right. 